Hello and welcome to designing a VMware Horizon 7 infrastructure by Pact Publishing. This course has been designed to give you a complete overview of the VMware Horizon 7 solution and will enable you to plan and design your own environment. It will also cover the key components of the solution and how they work in preparation for designing your production ready environment. This course can also be taken as a standalone course. However, it also forms the first course in the series of Mastering VMware Horizon 7. So let me start by introducing myself. My name is Peter Von Oven, and I've spent the last 20 plus years of my IT career working with customers and partners in designing technology solutions aimed at delivering true business value. I've been involved in numerous large scale enterprise projects and deployments, and you may well have seen me present at key IT events such as VMworld, IP Expo, and various VMUGs and Citrix user group events across the UK. I've also held senior pre sales roles and pre sales management roles for some of the vendors such as Fujitsu, HP, Citrix and VMware, and have been awarded VMware vExpert for 2015, 2016 and again in 2017. Over the past 12 years or so, I have focused my skills and experience by specialising in the desktop and application virtualization market, and today I work at market-leading desktop transformation specialists Liquidware, where I hold the role of the UK and Ireland Director of Pre-Sales. I first got a taste for writing when I assisted with some of the chapters in a book entitled Building End-User Computing Solutions with VMware View, which then led on to me writing six other packed titles, VMware Horizon Mirage Essentials, Horizon Workspace Essentials, Horizon View Essentials, Mastering VMware Horizon 6, which was co-written with Barry Coombs, Learning VMware App Volumes, and my most recent book, Mastering VMware Horizon 7, Second Edition, on which this course is loosely based. Without further delay, let's look at what we're going to learn throughout this course. So let's start with who this course is designed for. If you're a desktop administrator or part of a project team looking at designing a virtual desktop or virtual application delivery solution and want to take some advantage of some of the new features in the latest editions of Horizon View, then this course is perfect for you and your ideal companion in helping you to plan and design a solution to centrally manage and virtualize your desktop estate using VMware Horizon 7. You will need to have some experience in desktop management using the Windows Microsoft desktop operating system and also the server operating systems and general Windows applications, as well as be familiar with Active Directory, SQL Server, and of course VMware vSphere infrastructure, by which we mean ESXi and vCenter Server. So what are we actually going to cover in the sections of this course? In section one, we're going to discuss what VDI is all about, how it works, and then discuss the specifics around what Horizon 7 can actually deliver. Moving on to section two, we're going to take a deeper dive into the different components that make up the entire solution and what role they play and how they work. Then in section three, it's all about putting this together and making your production design and how to approach the overall project. We're going to take a look at some example organizations and examine how a Horizon deployment may look for them. In section four, we're going to build and configure our own example lab environment, which will enable you to follow the rest of this course, installing the software and configuring different components as we work our way through. In section five, we're going to start to install and configure the infrastructure components that make up the Horizon environment. So here we're going to install things such as the connection server, the replica server and security server, etc along with all the other components that build up the entire solution. Next, we will look at how to secure the Horizon environment with both SSL certificates, as well as looking at how to configure the true SSL role. We will then turn our attention to the virtual desktops in section seven and how to build, configure and optimize the desktop operating system to run as a virtual desktop machine within Horizon. Then in section eight, we will take these virtual desktop machines and configure desktop pool that will group together virtual desktop machines in readiness for the end users to log on and use. As well as delivering virtual desktop machines, Horizon can also deliver published application sessions from an RDSH host server. In section nine, we will look at how to install and configure this particular feature. In the final section, section 10, we're gonna look at how to install and configure the other desktop delivery option, and that's delivering published desktop sessions, again from an RDSH host server.